Sean says this is what happens when it is a majority government in power. You're right, Sean, but also it's a globalist majority government surrounded by globalist opposition. There's no true opposition in Ottawa. Imagine if we were in Ottawa talking like this. No one in Ottawa talks like us. Not a single one of those parties have come out against globalism ideology. Not a single one of those parties has come out against the mass immigration. Not a single one of those parties has come out against extreme multiculturalism. This is what's happening. So we need to break that monopoly on power. It's not just the majority. There's no true opposition. They're all in bed together. They're all globalists. Liberals are all globalists. So are the conservatives. Do your research. The true Tory has been dead for decades. Decades. Look at, look at, uh, I'll give you examples right now. Who brought in affirmative action in which visible ethnic minorities are hired over Euro Canadians? Who brought that in? That was the conservatives that brought that socialist legislation in. It's called the Employment Equity Act 1986. Who brought in the Canadian Multiculturalism Act. This act is all about promoting and enhancing foreign cultures in Canada. It was the Conservatives that brought that in. Don't get fooled. They're worse than the Liberals. Believe it or not, they are worse. And their free trade is ultimate globalism. Open borders. Complete open borders. Harper did mass immigration all through his term, that is a bit less than Trudeau. Those are facts. Harper set up Islamic Heritage Month in 2007. He actually funded Moss with our tax dollars. Don't be fooled by the rhetoric. You're getting played. They're all globalists. And I prove me wrong. Give me a statement from any of these politicians that have come out against globalism, extreme multiculturalism, that have come out against mass immigration. Tell me. Send it to me. And I'll, and I'll, I'll admit that I'm wrong. But I know I'm not. 